this is part two of our Prince series. Here we are. So I want to talk about his arrogance a little bit more because dude was an a-hole, bro. There are, there are documented events where he was notorious for not paying his ex. Like, for instance, Morris Day and the time said he would have them perform or open up for him and would not pay them. There's another instance where Prince would call them on the road to perform for him, would not pay for their airfare to get back home. I don't think he, Morris, trusted Prince after that ever again. You know there was an embarrassment of riches in his camp when you are able to fire Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis from the team for being late for they were out recording a song for the SOS band in 83 Just Be Good To Me they were doing outside music of what he told them not to do dude was an a-hole and he was feeling himself did you know that Prince and Morris Day got in a fight Morris Day comes into rehearsals a little late or a, or a performance a little late. Prince got in his face. Morris swung on him or pushed him. And Prince fell down and that was it. They even broke up the band before the Purple Rain. Uh, Morris quit and was done. But... I think Morris won in the end on this because he started getting all kind of movie roles after this. Y'all know I look deeper into his passing and a lot of the stuff they're saying that he passed away from does not add up. And we'll get into it, but first, I want to look and see that he, I know he was a Jehovah's Witness and he was a person of strong faith but some would say no to that because of his practices and his performance on stage. It's interesting. Did you know that Wendy from the, the Revolution Band asked him for Prince and the Revolution reunion tour? He told her no because it goes against his faith because he didn't uh he wanted her to denounce that she was the l word and uh he didn't want to do it because she was jewish and wanted her to do this press conference announcing that and that's the only way he would have done it that's that's tough so make your own thoughts on that I seen what y'all were trying to do. You fools put it out there in the universe and it wasn't nothing but these record labels put it out there in the universe that he passed away or had uh, HIV slash AIDS. This was in the 90s. Due to his lifestyle, that's not far-fetched from people to believe. But you got one problem with this lie. He slept with a lot of the greatest female entertainers of all time in the 90s, and I'm about to show you. You got Madonna, Kim Basinger, Sherilyn Finn. Sherilyn Finn is so pretty and was one of my crushes. In this movie called The Wraith with Charlie Sheen and Tara Lynn Flynn or Tara Lynn Patrick, but we know her as Carmen Electra, who he used to make sleep with makeup on while she was asleep. You got one problem with this lie. None of these have that disease. None of these women have that disease. So make up another lie. How does he pass away from that? Help me understand, viewers. How does he pass away from that? And none of them have it. We're going by y'all logic. We're going by y'all logic. Prince had the same 
type of resources and the same type of money and the same type of opportunities to get that took care of if he had it as Magic Johnson did. Magic's still here. Be careful, Universal Records. You'll tell on yourself. Wasn't Easy e in Universal and uh, Ruthless Records under Universal? You'll tell on yourself. Don't say they didn't own uh, Ruthless because aren't they the ones that put Straight Outta Compton out? These people got the resources to pay doctors to contaminate people's blood. Part three coming up. Stay with me. I'm going deeper.